It's no secret that this year's Halloween event is looking pretty shit. There's barely any map updates, and the item shops are absolutely horrendous. Like seriously, Fortnite, why is it all DC and Icon skins? What does this have to do with fucking Halloween? So, since it's not looking so bright, I'm gonna show you guys five ways to enjoy the Halloween season in Fortnite, even when it's shit. By the way, while editing this video, they actually did uh, get rid of the Icon skins, but the DC skins are still there, and they have some more Halloween skins, so I guess that's good, but still Fortnite, why? Now, number one is super obvious, but it's obviously to use Halloween skins. Now, I can guarantee you guys that at least half of you have a Halloween skin in your locker that you don't use ever. And all the other Halloween skins that you use, you don't get to use them basically most of the year because they're mainly Halloween themed. So to truly enjoy some Halloween spirit, embrace your Halloween items. You know what I did? I favorited all of my Halloween cosmetics and then played random so that I would get a random Halloween skin, back bling, and pickaxe every game I play. So it's still Halloween themed and I can use all of my cosmetics. So please use your Halloween skins. Don't use the same sweat skins or your favorite skins. Please embrace the Halloween spirit with your cosmetics. Now, number two is going to be patient. Now, this sucks for a lot of you, I know, but we are getting Jack Skellington and Michael Myers very soon. All you have to do is just wait, and we'll be able to play as them, guys. These are some of the most hyped Halloween skins of all time, so please just wait, and it'll be worth it. I know the item shops are so shit right now, but as soon as these two hit the item shop, it's go- you're going to forget. You're going to forget that the shops were even bad. So just like you have to wait between houses to get your candy, you have to wait in between item shops to get the true golden Halloween experience. And if you're waiting for a specific item shop's thing to come back, it'll come back. You just gotta wait for it. I know, it's painful, but you gotta do it. I'm sorry. Skull Trooper will come back. The Reaper Pickaxe will come back. Everything will eventually come back. Hey guys, it's me again. Skull Trooper came back to the shop. The night I was supposed to upload this. Told you he'd come back. Number three is to play Horde Rush. They brought this mode back for the reason that it's Halloween, and this is pretty much the only thing they brought back for Halloween, besides, you know, a few items and some shitty item shop skins. Horde Rush is such a fun mode. Even if it gets tedious at times, the pure satisfaction of killing zombies and cube monsters is just amazing and it's creepy it's dark it's scary even because you're worried you're gonna die and lose all your stuff it is the quintessential perfect halloween mode in fortnite so please take advantage of it while you can i've been playing it almost every day and it's still fun it's probably gonna be gone soon and you're gonna have to rely on other third-party creative halloween zombie maps so Please go for Horde Rush while you can. It even has so many old items like the Ripsaw Launchers, the Boom Bows, the Explosive Goo Gun. It has so many fun items to use as well. And there's a point system so you can be really competitive with your friends. And number four is just that, playing creative horror maps. Guys, with UEFN, so, th th there's so many actually scary horror maps in Fortnite. Like, sure, jump scares are one thing, but some of these are actually insanely creepy. Plus, you get XP for playing these, so you get scared, you get Halloween vibes, horror vibes, and XP. Oh, th it's so great. These horror maps, some of these are insane. I played this one called Phantom Investigation, where you're having to track down a ghost. And holy crap, that was so much fun. If you want, just look up horror and you'll find a whole bunch of crazy maps. Some of them aren't scary, but some of them will cause you to shit your pants, I'll tell you that. So just get a bunch of friends on your phone, play some of these horror maps with them, and just enjoy the true spooky and amazing vibes that that can bring you. And with that being said, number five is playing with some friends. Now, Halloween is only truly fun with some people in your life. Like, think about it. Do you want to go trick-or-treating all by yourself? 
Or do you even want to go into a haunted house all by yourself? Hell no! So why is it different with Fortnite? You should definitely get a bunch of your friends and enjoy the spooky experiences together. So definitely work on getting more of those amazing Halloween memories with some of the people closest to you in your life. Friends, family, the cat, it doesn't matter. Just make some good memories through the spookiness and scared feeling that we all get. Go and eat a sickening amount of candy. Go watch some cheesy horror movies. Go carve some pumpkins. Go make some shitty arts and crafts. Go eat something pumpkin spice flavored. And most importantly, just enjoy the autumn and fall season. When you go outside and you feel that nice breeze or you see the trees becoming yellow, that's what it truly means to be in the fall and Halloween spirit. So yeah, guys, go enjoy all that stuff. Go make some amazing fall memories. And most importantly, make sure you stay jazzy. But seriously though, Fortnite, if you fuck up the Christmas event, I swear to God, I will come over there. I will burn your entire headquarters to the ground. Please don't ruin it!